Matthew 15, 21 to 28. The faith of a Canaanite woman. Jesus went away from there and withdrew into the region of Tyre and Sidon. And a Canaanite woman from that region came out and began to cry out, saying, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he did not answer her with even a word. And his disciples came up and urged him, saying, Send her away, because she keeps shouting at us. But he answered and said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and began to bow down before him, saying, Lord, help me. Yet he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, but please help, for even the dogs feed on the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, O woman, your faith is great. It shall be done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed at once. Now please take a moment to make a summary for what you've just read. Your summary can be something like, Jesus' priority was to reach the Jews. However, a Canaanite woman asked for his mercy and help, and he healed her daughter because her faith was great. Now here's your first comprehension question. And she said, Yes, Lord, but please help for even the dogs feed on blank from their master table. Is the blank A, the bread, or B, the crumbs that fall from their master table? The bread from their ta master table or the crumbs that fall from their master table? If your answer is B, the crumbs that fall, then nice, good job. The answer is B, and she said, Yes, Lord, but please help, for even the dogs feed on the crumbs that fall from their master table. Verse 27. Now ponder this. In Jesus' reply, we can see that he compared the Gentiles, non-Jews, to dogs. If you were the Canaanite woman, would you have been offended? What does her reaction teach you? Instead of sending her away, and because Jesus knows all things, why do you think Jesus had this conversation with her, which was then recorded? 